Hello and welcome to another episode of Viking Women's Basketball with Lynn Kennedy and Coach. The uh, you guys are have a home and home series against Sacramento State coming up this weekend. But first, let's talk about this previous weekend against Eastern Washington. You know, it was tough with two losses, but you know, given the context, these were only your third and fourth games of the season, whereas the Eagles are playing twice as many. Uh, you know, there was definite growth that you could notice. Yeah, I, you know, I think we can take a lot away, especially when we go back and look at the tape. Um, you know, we didn't have very good first halves, especially the second quarter. I thought the second quarter just got away from us a little bit. Um, both games, they got a run, you know, late in the second quarter. And that tends to carry over into the third, but it didn't for us. I, I liked how we, we responded coming out of halftime in both games in the third quarter. We can take a positive, you know, look at, as far as our third quarters and what we can take away from those quarters and what we did defensively and offensively and what we can change. So. You know, looking back, you, you know, it's, it's tough to come away with two losses, but, you know, as young as our season is, I think we can take a lot away from those two games and get better, hopefully this week, and, and be competitive against Sac State uh, Thursday and Saturday. Yeah, and one of the words that you used when we talked after Saturday's game was the fight of your team. You know, Saturday especially, you guys were down 16 at halftime. You erased 14 of that in the third quarter, and, you know, you've won three of the four second halves this season. So that's a sign of a team that's fighting for sure. I think so, and I think you know you can see a little bit of our executions off, you know, and I think that's just timing and playing together. Um, you know, we've talked about it before, but you lose the summer and fall and most of your winter workouts and practices, and especially the five on five. I think I I overlooked that how important it is to have that five on five full contact. You know, the five on zero doesn't do it. You know, when you get ready for games, and that's okay. I mean. It is what it is, and we're, we're excited to be playing still and, and to have the chance to continue to get better throughout each week, and I think that's what we're focused on now. Um, it really wasn't about Eastern Washington. It was more about us, and it's same going into this week. It's more about us continuing to get better, working on you know just fundamental work this week and, and working on execution and our defense rotations and closeouts and things like that that you normally would work on in October, we're trying to get those things in now and continue to work on. So it's been a great two days of practice and, and I love the team's energy and, and their intensity the last couple days and we need to carry that over now into Thursday. And one thing that showed up for you this weekend was your three-point shooting. You know, season highs both games, 10 on Thursday, 12 on Saturday. And you know, Kylie and Des have always been hitting for you guys, but new players emerged too with Jenna Kilty had three in both games. Um, you know, Jada Lewis had a breakout game on Saturday. You know, it seems like we're now seeing the team that you thought you might have, you know, at the beginning of the season. Yeah, we, we, we talked about it really in September, you know, when you and I first started talking about the team and expectations of what we could be. And early on, we knew we were going to be a really good shooting team. I think some of it is getting us in the right positions and the right places in the offense. Um, some of it is just our defensive intensity and getting steals and getting some early fast break opportunities and getting the def defense to shift and kind of go towards the ball and that leaves our backside open. So there's a lot of factors, but I, I like where we're at. As far as we can get those shots when we're not that great right now offensively, and I, I like to think about you know the next couple weeks and next month of, as far as if we can clean up our execution, be better with our screens, be better with our attack. I think that will open up even more shots later on. Um, but we definitely can shoot the ball. It's just getting us in those right situations. Yeah, and the Vikings are leading the conference now and makes eight a game and a percentage for three-point shooting. But let's talk about this weekend now. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's another unique schedule. I asked you about the schedule last weekend, but this one's a home and home. You'll have two of these, one against Idaho later in the season. Right, right. It's kind of like a, you know, game five and game six in an NBA playoff <laughs> it series. It kind of is, yeah, with no crowd. You know, yeah, yeah no. like, have you guys talked about how you're going to handle this? We're worried about Thursday. You know, I, I think um, it's kind of a unique situation where you play the same team but we're taking it as just kind of one game at a time and, and almost looking at a different opponent type of thing. Um, for coaches, it's a little bit tougher because you have to go back and look at that same tape when, you know, in a normal situation, you have a different team, the scout would be almost complete. Um, so that was a little bit different as far as Friday. It was pretty quick turnaround, you know, going to a morning practice on Friday. So, you know, I think for us to focus on the things that we need to do to get better for Thursday, and then any adjustments that we can make 
going into Saturday. I think that's what we'll focus on again like we did last weekend. We didn't do a great job of adjusting, and so I think that as a young team and young in our season, we can continue to talk about continuing to get better, and I think that will help us for this week. And as we get deeper into our season, I, hopefully the idea is the adjustments will come easier um, as you prepare for that second game. All right, let's talk about the Hornets too. You know, the Hornets have had their own cancellations. They've only played five games, um, and they just play that unique style. Six different players are averaging at least nine points a game. And I mean, just rebounding is always super important when you play the Hornets, it seems like. It is. I mean, they're kind of in the same situation as us. They haven't had as many games. You know, they've played Nevada twice. You know, so they've been in that unique situation. They played one team already twice. Um, you know, I think, you know, looking in the past, they've had like one or two really solid, great players. I think this year, they've got 10 to 12 to 13 that could go off for 20 to 25 points at any time. So it's a little bit different where they don't have like one or two key players. You know, Kennedy last year was dominant in the post. You know, they're more of an outside shooting team again, you know, where they're knocking down threes. I think any of, any of their guards can go off for 20, 25 points. And so we're keen in on all shooters. You know, you really have to approach it. Whereas last weekend it was two or three again. You know, you're focused on those players. Here it's gotta be everybody. Uh, we've gotta do a better job of keeping the ball in front. They do a great job of attacking to the basket. And then like you said, rebounding. And when you play a team that shoots a lot of threes, they play an up-tempo style, tend to be a lot of quick, quick shots, quick rebounds, as well as long rebounds. And so we've got to be able to block those out. And I think that can create our fast break opportunities for us too as well. And, and on the same thing, they've got to be able to guard us. You know, and if, if it's an up and down game, I like our chances as far as getting to the basket and three-point shooting. So it should be a fun game to watch. All right, there it is. A reminder, the Vikings host the first game of the Home and Home Series Thursday at 7 p.m., then travel to Sacramento for a 12 p.m. tip Saturday. Thursday's game's on Pluto TV channel 1051, Saturday channel 1052. For links to all of that and more information, visit GoVikes.com.